Welcome back everyone for more of the best in citizen journalism from Stomp right here on Ground Zero. To round things off, we've got a humorous contribution that reacquaints us with the infamous Masalamat. Stomper LOL who sent in this contribution had a good laugh at what netizens on TalkingCock.com came up with. When Mark Lamad escaped from Whitley Road Detention Centre in 2008, they created mock-ups of possible disguises the J.I. leader may have used to evade detection. Mm. Well, some of the disguises netizens came up with for Mark Lamad were a pirate, a balloon bombshell, a dude spotting an afro, and the mother of all disguises, Mark Lamad as a Malay woman in a tudung. Turns out the website was spot on as it revealed in Parliament on November 22nd that Mas Lamad had put on makeup and worn a tudong to evade detection and recapture. Mas Lamad's great escape was aided by his relatives who helped apply makeup and dress the wanted man in a tudong. Stomper LOL who sent in the contribution says in amusement, It's interesting that what we took to be jokes turned out to be what Mas Lamad actually did. Maybe we should have hired these netizens to help the authorities catching the escapee. Hmm. Many stompers wondered how Mas Lamad managed to slip past the authorities with such a disguise. Diversify, diversify had just two words to say. System fail. However, stomper Shaki82 sympathies lie with the authorities. Shaki82 says, all customs officers deserve credit for ensuring our border is safe. Whenever we pass the customs, the officer will make an effort to read out the names and compare the photos. Now that Mas Lamad is back in custody, Let's hope the truth of his escape comes out soon. Like Masalamat's brief spell of freedom, all good things must come to an end. So here's saying goodbye until the next Ground Zero.